Hey everyone, this is Sovereignty, and this is a Pitbull 4 configuration tutorial. Uh, Pitbull is a unit frames add-on created by CK Knight and a couple of other folks. And Pitbull 4 is a lot different from Pitbull 3 in terms of configuration. Um, in some ways it can be a lot uh, more streamlined of a process and ultimately save you a lot of time, but at the same time it's also fairly confusing. Uh, if we click here, this brings up the configuration window. Uh, veteran Pitbull users will notice that all the individual unit configurations on the left hand side are gone. Uh, Pitbull 4 uses a layout system where you create a layout and then apply it to different unit frames. Uh, if you have a lot of unit frames that you want to look the same, uh, that can save you a lot of time. Otherwise, it's basically like having to configure every individual unit. Um, if you look on the left hand side, you'll see a couple of menus. The layout editor is where you'll do the bulk of your configuration in Pitbull. Um, the units menu, you can select units, apply layouts to them, enable or disable those units. Then you can also change the scale of those unit frames, their height and width multiplier, and I'll get to all this later, and their horizontal position and vertical position. The groups menu uh, allows you to change a lot of aspects about things like your party, where you can change uh, the height and width of each individual frame. Well, I guess it, you change them all collectively, uh, but it can also change the position and the spacing and uh, a lot of other options that are available uh, in the regular layout editor. Under modules, you can change, uh, or you can enable and disable modules just like in Pitbull 3. I've disabled a lot of them that I thought weren't particularly useful for this tutorial. Under colors, you can uh, change all the colors that appear in your unit frame is the one thing I will uh, note here is that since Pitbull 4 uses Ace 3, the color picker is not great. Um, you'll need something like uh, Enhanced Color Picker or Discord Library in order to get like copy and paste or entering RGB values and things like that. Um, the last menu is the Profiles menu where you can do meta management of different user interfaces. Uh, most people don't need to worry about this, and if you do need to worry about it, you probably already know about it. Um, configuration mode up here, uh, it allows you to create dummy versions of each uh, unit frame. So you can see here that um, this uh, added the auras and the raid target and it created a bunch of focus frames that I don't care about. So we'll turn that off. Actually, we'll leave it on for now. Um, you can lock the frames so you can't drag them and you can also enable and disable the minimap icon. If you do choose to do that, you can access the configuration menu, menu through slash pitbull or slash pb. Um, really quickly, since there are all those units, uh, this is how you disable units. You pick them from the current unit menu and uh, you hit enable. That will get rid of all those. Um, looking at the layout editor, you'll notice that uh, at the top here are sort of the most important options. Uh, you select the layout that you'd like to edit or you can create a new layout. Um, we have just the normal layout and I'm going to create a layout called Tutorial. Now the Tutorial layout is what I'm editing now and you'll notice that when I change the width or the height that nothing changes. And that's because none of these, neither of these two units I should say, uh, have had that layout applied to them. Instead they're both using the normal layout. So if we change player to tutorial you'll see that that made it a little wider, wider than uh, the target frame just because we changed that. Um, a couple things to note first, uh, unfortunately you, cannot, you can no longer mouse over the scroll bar to or the slider to change width but you can enter values in these little boxes. So let's say I wanted this to be 250, 240 I guess is what I wanted it to be. Um, you can add that and you can do that in increments of one. Uh, it can help with precision uh, in terms of sizing, etc. Um, and that's for each time you see a slider, for the most part you can do that. Uh, and so these three options here under the general tab change the overall appearance of the frame. So you can increase the height of the frame or the width of the frame. It indirectly I guess affects the the sizes of individual bars but on the but it mostly just changes how big and small uh, the entire frame is. Editing bars is very similar to uh, editing bars in Pitbull 3. Um, one nice feature is that you can uh, have individual bar textures so as you can see when I pick that under the general tab it applied it to both 
Uh, but later, as you'll see, I can pick uh, unique textures for each bar. Spacing just changes the spacing in between each bar. Uh, so you no longer have to use your blank space in order to create spacing differential between the two. And then padding uh, increases and decreases the padding around the uh, edge of the unit frame so that you can have more complicated borders. Um, looking at the health bar, you'll see a couple of things. You can enable or disable the health bar. Uh, but you can also change the size, um, the position, and then again the texture. So I could have this be this awful texture, or I could have it just be the same. Um, side changes basically can create a vertical unit frame. If you pick left or right, um, it will. This bar now fills, or I guess depletes in this direction rather than that direction. But if you leave them both as center, they will just be standard horizontal bars. Uh, this allows you to create a HUD. There are a couple other features that allow you to create a HUD, um, and so keep those in mind if that's the direction you want to go. You can also change the bar height, which basically changes the amount of space that it takes up within the unit frame. It doesn't actually change unit frame size. Uh, you can switch it to fill instead of deplete. You can reverse the direction instead of right to left. It could go left to right or bottom up instead of top down. Um, you can also change the full opacity, which is what appears when the bar has something in it. And then the empty opacity, there's a ghost bar behind each one of these bars. Uh, and then reducing the empty opacity changes that. Um, you can also change colors or create a custom color. And that's the same between the two of them. Uh, and just to give you a quick example, if you wanted to create a HUD, let's say uh, you wanted this on the left hand side, your power bar on the right hand side. And you can see that looks ridiculous. Uh, but if you go back to the general tab here and you inverse height, so 